Representations can be extremely beneficial to save time when dealing with an assembly simulation. They can also clarify possible problems so that the crux of the issue can be resolved without any additional or unnecessary steps. In this example, we will learn how to use the representations that are set up in the assembly environment, as well as how to include or exclude parts inside of the simulation environment. When I start the simulation, I will go into the Model State tab and we will look through the options for using the already set up assembly representations. First, you can see the top option is for Design View. In an assembly, you can use a design view to turn visibility on and off for components. Keep in mind that this does not affect the memory operations, it is only for visibility. The second one down is a positional representation. You can use positional representation when you have a part that moves as a part of its function and you want to show it in different positions inside the assembly and the drawing. The third and final option is for level of detail. Using this in assemblies cuts down on the physical memory that is needed for the assembly by suppressing the components of the assembly. If we pick the Suppress All Content Center Parts as the option for loading in the assembly, this would turn off all library components such as nuts and bolts. This is very helpful to the solve time in the assembly because most likely nuts and bolts that you're using are graded and are not going to be judged in the assembly for strength. So let's pick the first option, the Design View Rep, and see what happens. You can see that the panel and some of the parts have been turned off, but they are still being solved for. Just like in terms of memory, the design view only turns the visibility off of the components. The representations can be used together, however. Click Create Simulation again, and now this time we will select All Content Center Components Suppress and the first design view. Now you'll see that the bolts and nuts are not included and are suppressed from the tree, and the panel visibility is turned off. Working with certain parts of an assembly without modeling subassemblies can be useful too. Let's say we wanted to do a modal analysis of the wheel and shaft but did not want to include any of the rest of the assembly. We could either create a new assembly for the wheel and shaft components or we could simply create a level of detail without any of the rest of the components. Now you can just select a new simulation and pick the wheel shaft level of detail. That will suppress everything except for the wheel and shaft so that nothing else will be solved for. Representations can cut down on runtime and increase the accuracy of your simulation drastically. Therefore, they should be used whenever considering an assembly for simulation. Sometimes FEA users will actually model a part to represent many components so as to cut down on runtime. So this feature is really useful to use the already created assembly and still get accurate results.